I think the police should have done a bit more. What? Um, I feel for Chris Whitty because it's not a nice situation to be in. Um, But I would say that's what being a woman's like. That's what being a woman's like walking through a park, walking anywhere after dark. Um, You've got to be very aware. You get hassled. It exactly sounded like that jostling in that clip. Um, Come on, sweetheart, what's wrong? Counting. What's wrong? Cheer up, love. Give us a smile. <laughs> Give us a smile. Am I right? Is that what you're exactly, talking about? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. And, uh, I mean, the, it's a great something point. should be it's a done, great but I don't, know, I don't know what that is, to be honest. Well, the minute someone um, touches you as a woman, then yes. one, one would expect an observing police officer to intervene, being touched against your will, particularly quite robustly. Um, as, yes, as in getting an arm absolutely. around your shoulder and you're trying to escape from that arm around your shoulder. Exactly. And I think it was the same for him, to be honest. He was obviously uncomfortable. Yeah, clearly. Um, but, I mean, like you say, it, it, to what extent is it going to go to? The police were hopefully watching um, and were going to step in. Um, I think more should be done, but I don't know what that is. Well, I love your honesty, <laughs> I know, and that's the problem, isn't it? Because if they had waded in, uh, to, to, to use a slightly provocative verb, then one suspects that the usual suspects would be queuing up to give them a shoeing for being too hands-on and for being too... Uh, exactly. quick off the mark and for having to they can't do right they can't do wrong can they damned if they do damned if they don't Gabrielle exactly. we, could, we, could, we can swap the well okay I mean that there it is uh, and, and that, that there's something about the footage that explains why we're talking about it. It, it, it it is arresting if you pardon that pun it is arresting footage it does make you go partly I think because Chris Whitty has such a likeable demeanour he, he, he has such a sort of I, I forgive me but he seems quite cuddly you know when you see you see him giving these briefings uh, especially next to some of these psychopaths that he's uh, elected ones that that he's required to stand alongside and obviously under orders not to tell the truth about what he thinks about Dominic Cummings' trip to Barnard Castle and, and various other scandals doing his best to mitigate the damage that Boris Johnson can do to the population and to reduce the number of unnecessary deaths that political decisions cause and he does so with that kind of uh, what would you call it the quiet authority of, of, of somebody who is well aware of the scale of the task and the difficulty of what lies ahead of him. And I, I have found him very reassuring. Um, and yet, you know, there are, there are protests routinely calling him all sorts of names and calling him all sorts of, accusing him of all sorts of uh, foul uh, misdemeanors and, 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 and indiscretions, part of some conspiracy. It's all a lie. We're not talking about that today because those people are bonkers. But that's the context against which or within which he gets accosted in the park. It's important to mention that it could have been people who, like um, Nick Watt of Newsnight experienced, it could have been people who see him as an enemy, who see him as a danger, who see him as a threat, people who spend their days, as Francis so beautifully put it, um, sitting in their pants on the sofa watching YouTube videos and believing at the end of that experience that they are more qualified to comment on a global pandemic and the best way to treat coronaviruses or indeed the very existence of the coronavirus than the country's chief medical officer. That, that's why it feels so wrong. But whether the police could or should have done anything differently, I'm still not sure. <laughs> 